Look at all that snow. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. Once we get through Gorvas, we're there. We've come quite a long way. Spadaj. Ja nie spadam. Nie chcę iść po pociągu, ostatnio też mogłam łazić i nic mi to nie dało. could be this time. Attention now. Yeah. What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped as for the cause. Outside the fix. We'll take a look. Oh no. I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. Ta Gladiosowi nie jest zimno teraz przypadkiem? Z tego powodu. Kurde. It's freezing. We better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. Damn. Let's clean up out of here. Warm up. Better make this snappy. Time to waste. I think I don't know that. 
Tak, wiem, 14 rozdziałów jest, więc... To to już jest 11. Ten tutaj. Hey, knocked! What's up? You better get in here. Something's not right. Come on, Iggy. Right. Kurde, serio? Znowu? No way! You! Hold it! Son of a bitch! The hell? Ah, to what is that moment? I have a question. That moment. that follow the war while the six are still asleep the pyre burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light his peril is sensed by the frost bear she rushes to his aid only to be felled by the foreign hordes those masses are now one with the darkness darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect the star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods sits on the shoulders of the Chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. The Six have safeguarded this star since time immemorial. Each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. The gods' protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the Pyreburner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the frost bearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them, the gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the pyre burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his friends once helped build. But the six are sworn to defend the star and all 
flames off the pyre burner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins. Their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the sick seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. Hmm. When the boy begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. But it's my choice. If only... If only I could hear his voice once more. We could laugh together as we did as children. <laughs> if we could live out our days together as we once dreamed. Wherefore does the lady weep? Forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But want though she may, it is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade, and, in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. And if the words are not spoken from her lips, then the messenger shall see that they are heard. The god's favor and the lady's love shall be with him evermore. Thus it is promised between the oracle and are familiar. I am undeserving of your kindness. Restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now, I never had the chance. I'm 
you down. I know you won't. I know. We're together again someday. I promise. I don't know if the final will be so smooth. I wish the main character was not a bad guy. I hope the older version is more well-rounded. What are you looking at? Saw the glacier. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. I've earned the right to call you not. For a moment I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me nevertheless. My feelings at least. And after all the memories we've shared, Remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He. <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire. I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> We should be drawing close to Gralia. Yeah. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but you knew that. Huh. Don't remind me. Once we arrive, we'll make for the keep. The keep? Zagnortus, an imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. With Prompto and the crystal inside it. What goes in must come out. So. Are we buying the story that the crystal can purge demons? The proof is in the purging, but it does stand to reason. We've observed that as the nights have grown longer, the demon hordes have grown stronger. If they are in fact averse to the crystal's light, it could save not only Lucis, but the world. <laughs> we'll find out once we take it back. The hell? Uh -huh. What is it? 
My guess, something to sidetrack us. Only a matter of time before we run out of room to run. Got a better idea? We trade the train for the regalia. Come on! On my way! Locked! Stop the freight train. car! Keep moving! Strap in. Yeah. Got it. Threat upgraded. Activating level four security measures. Sealing all gates. Okay. Także czekajcie RT. LT. Dobra. Put the pedal to the metal. That's the idea. Don't crash. Thanks for the tip. Where are we now? Inside a tunnel. On the train tracks. Don't slow down, or they'll catch us up. Going as fast as I can. Hang on. I didn't bump the brake. I didn't turn speed on. No, I didn't bump. Should I push down the ladder? Ta regalia nie idzie na specjalnie szybko. That's all she's got. It'll do. Spoko, wyprodukują ci drugą. Are we seriously marching into the capital empty-handed? And with no assurances, the crystal can beat back the demon hordes. Guess we'll find out the hard way. No turning back now, right? <laughs> this thing could come down at any time. Let's be quick. Całe to zbieranie, całe to awansowanie w zdolnościach i ze wszystkim. Na co to mi było? Yes, Gladio. Stam samam. 
Uuu, mogę w końcu posterować kimś innym niż tym. O to ja chcę Ignisem. Okej. Okay. Tak, jestem ciekawa, jak to wygląda z jej perspektywy. 